Right, today I want to show you how to make a rocker card. I've got a couple of different ones here that I've made. So these, when you place them down, they rock, which is quite cool. This is one I made with some die cuts that I don't use very often. It's quite nice. A little butterfly as well, and an acetate circle with a happy birthday on. And it's a, a rocker stepper card, so as you can see from there, it's got a stepper either side. Um, this one I used um, the Hey Baby, first edition Hey Baby um, decoupage for. And again, it's a stepper card. So I'm just going to show you how to make the actual stepper base. Now, a lot of the um, tutorials that I've seen online for this stepper card, they involve having a circular, starting off with a circular piece of card. Now, I found that a bit tricky, so I've started off by using a 6x4 card blank. Um, I did it today in my craft class and it seems to go quite well, so I think that's the way we're going to go. So this is the template that we've got for it, and I'm going to put that on, that'll be on my blog, access to that will be on my blog. Um, so I've made the template up and showed you. So this is the, obviously the, the card blank itself, and then this is what you will cut, but you need to do your score lines first and then you cut the circle out and that way it's very easy then to measure in because otherwise if you see that slopes around and so to measure an inch and a half in is a bit tricky so I just find it easy to do it on a 6x4 and then cut this bit here off afterwards so we're going to start with apologies if the light keeps going in and out it's a horrible day today one minute it's sunny the next minute it's absolutely throwing it down with rain so we're going to start with a 6x4 card blank like that. And what we're going to do, obviously as you know, you've got your central fold line there. So what you want to do is on your, um, you want to first get a, get a ruler and a pencil and you want to mark along your central score line and you want to mark at one and a half inches, which is there. And one and a half inches in from here, which is there. Okay, so that's one and a half inches in there and one and a half inches in there. You also want to do the same at the top of your card. Do exactly the same again. One and a half in, just a little dot, and one and a half in. You'll need that later on. Right, so when you've done that, what you want to do next is take a scoreboard. I'll just open one up. And I'm using this one, which is a We Are Memory Keeper scoreboard and you want to take your card and you're going to score along here so you turn it round now what I did because if I butt this up against the the scoring edge because it's this one isn't quite six by four this this card um, so you want to measure bring your central line up to one of the numbers so that's there okay so that's my central score lines there and then you want to measure three quarters of an inch along. So one, two, three, and you want to score down to where that mark is. Then another three, one, two, three quarters of an inch, and score down to where the mark is. Do the same on the other side of the central fold. So from the seven, up to seven and three quarters, score down until you reach the mark. Then another three quarters of an inch, one, two, three, to so eight and a half, score down again to the other bit. Like that. So you end up with those um, four score lines. Two score lines you've already done, sorry, five score lines. The central one and then the two that you've just done. Next what you want to do is flip your card around and do the same again. So you want to go that centre bit where the seven is or whatever number you choose and then one, two, three, so we're going to go there and stop there. Oh, sun's coming out. One, two, three, six and a half. Oh, and it's going in again. There we go. <laughs> From the seven, you want to go the other way. So one, two, three, seven and three quarters. And then another three. One, two, three, so eight and a half. Okay, so that's your scores done. So I just find it easier to score it on a nice rectangular piece of card. Because if you start doing it on a circular piece of card, it's just a nightmare. Then what you want to do is go to your trimmer. Now obviously you can use a standing knife for this if you want to. And this is where your two little marks that you did earlier come in handy. So you want to open up your trimmer, 
you want to put your piece of card in, butt it up against that edge and make sure that that mark you made is in the cutting track. Then close your ruler down and bring your trimmer so that it is in line with that first score line and you want to cut all the way down until you reach the last score line. So you end up with that. So I've cut all the way from the first score line all the way down to the last score line. Turn it round and you want to do the same again. So measure up your dotted line, no, not a dotted line, your little dot that you've got your mark with the cutting track. Close your ruler up and then cut from one, the first score line to the last score line. Like that. Okay, so you can put your trimmer away. Next, what we want to do is you want to fold your whole card in half, like that. Now, this is going to look very untechnical. You can use a six inch circular die if you want to, but for those of you who don't have a die cutting machine, I am using a cereal bowl, a nice plastic cereal bowl, and it does measure approximately, well, it's five and a half inches this is, yeah, five and a half, just over, mm, five and, just over five and a half inches, yeah, but um, you can use, but my card, as I said, it isn't six by four, if your card was six by four, you'd use a six inch circle, okay, so whatever you can do, whatever's the kind of right size of your card, that's what you need to use. So this one, if you see, if I get that halfway, it's only slightly smaller than my card, which is perfect. So then what you want to do is put your fingers on top of the bowl, and with a pencil, you draw around. Like that. And then you just want to cut that out. So obviously with a die it would be a lot easier. But, you know, I just quite like the idea of using a cereal bowl. It's nice and handy. And it's easier to transport than a, if you were doing this out and about somewhere. Now you need a nice sharp pair of scissors, which these aren't. So cut your circle. Don't worry if your circle's not completely perfect. I'm not the best at cutting out. As long as you more or less follow that line, you should be okay. There we go. So this is now waste, but obviously you can use that to cut, you know, a few sentiments, cut sentiments out of that. So there you have your, your um, base card. Next what you want to do is, starting from the first fold line, the first fold needs to be a mountain fold, so it looks like a mountain. Then you do a valley fold, then a mountain fold, then a valley, and then a mountain. So you end up with a concertina. You see how I end up with a concertina like there. And then just give your edges a good, a good burnish. Like that. And then do the same on the other side. So you want to do a mountain, a valley, a mountain, a valley, and a mountain. A mountain obviously looks like a mountain, because it does that, like a mountain. That's a valley, because it looks like a V for a valley. And that's pretty much self-expansion, really. So let's just burnish all our edges. There we go. Right, and so that is your rocker card done. Now, obviously these two bits, this, this bothers me a bit, this bit here bothers me. This is also not quite as deep as this one. But I think it's just because of where I put my bowl. So with this one, I had my bowl so that it was, I had my bowl so that it wasn't really half, it was just slightly further down, which then gives you more, a, a bigger depth on your, on your rocker. So obviously it's up to you where you want to put it. So this is just shallower rocker really than, than the other two that I've done. Um, and on the other one that I did, the pink one, I'll show you in a moment, I left these pieces on. So you see how on this one, I've left the bits that are sticking out, I've left them on, whereas on this, I haven't, I've cut them off. And so what I'm going to do for this one, I am going to cut them off. You need to just make sure that where you've put your circle, when you cut this, you're not going to make it so that you then don't have anything left. Because if you look at this bit here, can you see how shallow that is? See my workings out? See how shallow that is compared with obviously these big, nice, deep steps that I've got here. But that's all, again, personal choice. So I am, just for neatness, I am going to cut this off. And again, you do need a sharp pair of scissors, which these aren't particularly. 
and that's a rough old edge. In fact, let me use my other pair of scissors because that really is a rough old edge that I have there. There we go. Um, yeah, and let's do the other one. These are much sharper scissors. Much better. There we go. So can you see there what I'm talking about? You can see it. See here, that depth there is very shallow. Can you see? Like if I, if that came in any further in, then that you'd, it's tenuous. It's very, very, very shallow. So you do have to be a bit careful that you make sure you've got enough depth there. But there's your rocker, and then obviously you can just decorate it however you want to decorate it. Um, I hope you have a go. As I said, I had fun doing these. Um, and there's so many different things you can do with them, different things. I mean, it'd be great for like another a baby card. I've got um, or Easter card or anything really. Birthday, get well. You could do it with a pirate ship, make it look like um, a pirate ship. We could do it as a Noah's Ark. There's so many different ideas you can use with it. And it's just a nice, and it's really not that difficult. So I hope you give it a go.